Okay, here's a 2010 Pathfinder 2400 Tournament Edition. Uh, just keep in mind with me guys here, I'm using an iPad, so this might be a little shaky. Uh, I'll try to keep it as still as possible. Um, so it's got a 250 Yamaha, four stroke. Um, runs awesome. Everything has been done on it is uh, just been synthetic oil changes for lower units and the oil, uh, fuel filters, all that's done every 100 hours. Uh, as you can see, it's got a uh, blade, I think it's the eight foot power pole. Uh, works excellent, just redid all the bushings and uh, nuts and bolts and everything on it with a factory rebuild kit. The uh, trim tabs are electric trim tabs. They both work perfectly fine, no issues. It's got a uh, Atlas hydraulic jack pump. Uh, jack plate I think it's the four inch offset it has a uh, toggle as you can see under the edge of the steering wheel up there that makes it go up and down uh, let me walk down the side of the boat here the hull is in excellent shape that's a reflection you're seeing on the hull there go all the way down more reflection it's got a great gloss to the hull turn back around here and you can see I'll put my hand in front of this reflection wherever it's at so just so you guys can see it's just reflection um, wheels bearings lug nuts just replaced all the bearings and all the lug nuts on all four wheels the uh, tires are in uh, good condition no issues there at all the bunks have uh, new carpets. You can see all this, the black stuff sprayed on there is actually plastic dip. It works uh, or like a bed liner material. It works great for not making for making sure your nuts and bolts don't rust on anything. Um, as you can see, I've done them underneath of the lower bunks. Uh, let me walk forward here. These things work no issues. Got one here too. Everything works on this. New jack on it, sounds good, two inch ball. Let me walk down the rest of the hole here, you can see it's got a nice shine on the gel coat there. I've got one little boo-boo that happened on the fender right here. Uh, straightened out pretty good, that was it. And then I've got one, I've got this T for some reason, it's come off and I got a spot right there where those have come off. I think it rubbed on something there, but there's nothing done to the gel coat. So, um, hull is in great condition. Um, there is one spot right, you can kind of see it here. I think I rubbed up against something. It's very light. I need to just buff it out, um, but it's not gouged into the hull, any craziness. Um, underside of the hull, as you can see from the other pictures, is in really good shape. There's no issues. Um, I mean, we pulled up the beaches. That's about it. You can see everything's good. Uh, this one here goes to the front bait well. That is a dump for it. Bait well slash cooler. It's got a pump to it. So, let me jump into the boat here. And I guess... Uh, We'll start from the front here, work our way back. It's got a 110 Riptide uh, self-deploying um, trolling motor here. Works awesome. It'll anchor you to in a spot and keep you within about a 10 foot distance of it. This thing is just awesome. I love it. Uh, you can see, let me open the anchor well here. I've got an aluminum fortress anchor and probably about a, at least 150 foot of rope is stashed in there uh, onto a long chain onto the anchor. Plug in for the anchor, I mean for the trolling motor. Uh, you can see these sides are carpeted. Everything's in good shape. Lock that back down. Um, got a nice polling platform. Works awesome for spotting. I did put the rod holder in it, made it a little bit easier. You know, if you want to put your pole down, or you got a fish on or whatever, and trying to get them off the hook. Um, it is attached with a, uh, a stainless steel, like cinch down bolt system there that goes into this lid. So you really don't have access to that thing while this is was on there. So, but I never use it. Um, this 
thing right about here um, is I guess for a seat or something but there's nothing it's just you can open it up and it looks down into there as far as storage goes it's got great storage all my locks and everything work you can see there's my stash of goodies in there all the rubber seals are good on all these they're all in good condition no crazy rips or tears or anything um, and both of these are they are rod holders as well uh, in the floor we've got a net casting net holder which is in there and I've got some uh, got a couple of bumpers in there so let me close this down the hydraulics on on all of these work close it the right way um, the only items I have on the boat that I need to address or somebody will need to address um, is these hinges that hold these these lids on especially this big front one for some reason it likes to pull out um, I think I can use a, a little a syringe and pump some epoxy into there and it would be able to saw it up and then screw the put the screws back in take care of that problem um, as you can see probably in other pictures it does have an awesome stereo system it's got three speakers up here that's a 12 inch rockford sub this is a uh, eight inch on both sides those are the mids and highs this stereo system is just great on this boat it will rock you without a doubt uh, you got rod holders on either side of the center console all the cushions on the whole boat are all new just had them completely redone it's marine grade vinyl um, they are excellent this is a cooler underneath here if you lift this cushion up right here in the front of the center console pull it down and out gives you access to everything in here uh, there's the amp there's a charger I've got another charger there pump for the uh, fret raw water the, the fresh water uh, wash down which is a tank underneath the uh, the amp there and then I've got four heavy-duty extreme batteries and see all my wiring is all everything's tight squared away from the factory the way it was and you just slip that up and slip this down and that closes that up um, it's got flush mount cleats which is excellent got some rod holders two on each side going at the back and then rod holders here on the side of it um, 20 year lights horn deal I've got some LED blue LED lighting it looks awesome at night coming on back here uh, this is the leaning post like I said all new cushions and everything all the stainless is in really good shape with some cup holders here underneath this which you just unclip that it's got storage underneath the seat right there we'll put that back um, going on to the back here so this one here on the left on the rear here is access to all the strainers that are in here there's three strainers there and um, everything's in really good shape I mean there's no issues a little bit of rust here and there but nothing leaks um, we got one little spot here this thing is it's the salt water wash now with the paints flaked off of that uh, everything was put on this boat used 5200 nothing leaks easy access to everything that's the pump to the uh, the blade I keep a little stash of you know uh, lube and fluid in here if I ever needed it so underneath this seat in the middle is a live well fairly big uh, I have no issues keeping you know shrimp perch whatever it may be in there it keeps them all alive it's got a recirculation system um, and it's got a light in the bottom of it which is nice and two pumps bring water into it underneath this calf is access to the bilge and any wiring that's underneath there and if you had a through hole transducer you could access it through there this boat did come with one it's still mounted down underneath there 
over here on this side this is a fish well it does have a pump it pumps water on into here it's also got a strainer in there uh, that's the hose for the salt water wash down I got in there and my stash of Sprite so back here at the motor um, other than a little bit of paint right there it's coming off of the ram that's it um, and a little bit of paint that came off the top of the hydraulic electric hydraulic pump deal um, you can get into here nice and easy you can see everything's dry nothing's all crazy rusted or anything everything is solid there's no leaks in this boat or anything everything's zip tied and you know there's nothing that's gonna go wrong I have a hundred percent faith in this boat I'll take it anywhere um, so you can see the engine cover really good condition glossy nice no issues at all so let's roll up to the helm here all right so but a pair of clip-on cups works awesome uh, there wasn't any on the front area here I got this Garmin head unit it is everything you could possibly want um, it'll do radar it'll do everything uh, and go into the engine here all my gauges are run through it everything does work it tells you everything accurately um, and you can get out of there go home you can go into the charts ask you which way what you want to see I'll just do that it brings these up and then it'll go into the satellite mode we'll go home again sonar gives down view split zoom data i mean it's it's really awesome uh go home you can go into the nav issue and it gives you i mean tides currents i mean this thing tells you everything that's going on so uh cannot beat it it's been awesome in it so i'm going to shut it down um Standard Horizon VHF radio is GPS positioning in it as well. So if you ever have any issues, you just push the spread, this uh, excuse me, the distress, and it will uh, send up a signal and give them your coordinates, which is a really nice thing to know. So if there was ever